We are live! I want to be ja and Jules, we've done it again. What? <gasps> we did! Oh my word! That's actually a very we nice really color. We did! We really did! As you know, Adrian and I phone each other before we get dressed every single time to make sure that we match. Jules, what are you wearing today? <laughs> We what's oh what's God, our uniform? We've done, we've done really well. It's been three weeks. The first one went, week the first of our one. challenge, and it's uh, it's uncanny. It's I bizarre. Mean. It's bizarre. <laughs> the first one was we both wore red. Mm. I mean, who wears red? We both wore red. And then it was black and white. And I think last week when we did this, where we were in grey. We were in grey. And now we, we just dark and grey. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, some Dean. Some Dean's here. Yeah, I'm just going to find my going. dolls. I'm just going to find my dolls. Let everybody group. know it's happening. Um, Sharon is here. Um, Sharon! Hello, my beautiful Sharon. My uh, beautiful uh, Sharon. Hello, Ava. I met Sharon in Johannesburg. Did you? She is my sister from another mister. She is. She is. It's a, yes, matchy, matchy, she says. <laughs> uh, Joburg Day seemed like an absolute it cracker. It was, it really was. Everyone who got to uh, meet Jono and Jules, it seemed like it was a beautiful day out. It was a lovely day. I am trying to find the speed so that I can actually... Sandine saying hi to Sharon. Guys, we're on week three of our challenges, so the, the last week, um, and our last You Cook, Cook Together tonight. Um, excuse me and my raspy voice, I've got... Uh, a, a couple of sinuses in my head that I'm playing games. So um, it's echoing a lot in here. Um, so please do forgive me <laughs> what that sounds like. But, oh my um, word, Sharon. But Jules is just standing a little bit further away. Um, but, just, uh, she does like, keep your coonies to yourself. Don't. We've even got our um, well placed kitchen towel right there. There you go. Let's move that out the way. I'm <laughs> just trying to find the speed so that I can um, tell my, my team that we are. Julie here. is here saying hi to Jules. Hello, Jules. Hello, darling. Nice to see Indeed, you, Jules. can't believe challenges are nearly over. I but, know. guys, sure. Crazy. What's around the corner, you would not believe. Um, oh, wow. So, uh, watch the space and all the other spaces. So much excitement so much coming in a couple of weeks. Um, I think, when are, we, when are we. In a month. In, no, in a month. In. End of month. Gone down because it's so blocked out. Oh, here we go. We started it. There we um, go. <laughs> uh, guys, pop in, say how's it. Let us know who's all here, how things are going. Um, hopefully you're all cooking with us or just watching for a little bit of light entertainment to get you through the evening. Uh, Gabby says hi. Hi, Gabby. Um, hopefully you've got your ingredients together. Can't find um, Can't find the speed. Why can't I find myself? Little really Mediterranean amazing. trout. On um, papillotes. Do you know what on um, papillotes means? It sounds like butterflies. Yeah, well, papillon is a butterfly, but uh, kind of close, I guess. It's in. It's directly translated. Just means in a paper bag. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. In a paper bag. So it's 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 a lovely method. We've done one of these. Um, sure, I reckon maybe over a year ago we did we did something similar. It's a nice technique to learn because there's so many things that you can cook in it. So um, it handles sort of nice light proteins like this. We're going to do some fish in it. Uh, you can do vegetables, you can do chicken, and um, you can even do some meats and things. All you're doing really is steaming um, whatever's in there. So it cooks, cooks nice, ah. keeps all the juices in, um, and it's just a nice light method of, of cooking, which is correct. Um, Hilla, how's it going from Pretoria? Hello, Shirley. Oh, there we go. Sharon says the recipe looks amazing. Sandine, my son always thinks Jeff people are saying his name on the trees when they greet you. <laughs> Hello, Gabby. Gabby, I met Gabby Hirsch this weekend. Mm -hmm. Gabby, Sharon, and I spent a bit of time together. We had a little bit of fun together. Did we not, girls? A little chin wag. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Girls, girls uh, getting together and doing it for themselves. <laughs> um, lovely. So, do you like a bit of trout? A bit of fish? I do. I love fish. Beautiful. I love fish. Fish. So both, both, both of us are from in. Italy. We're, so. both from the, we're both from Italians. Yeah. Fish so, and dish and, and uh, 
all the typical ways that you know someone's uh, someone's from Natal. We put a U in the middle. We say Bush. Gugu, how's it like, going? Like Gugu is from Natal. She's an Italian. Um, hey, Gugs. Yeah. Gugs also looked absolutely amazing the other day. Did you see the photograph of her on, I did. on Facebook? I did. She was smashing. She was so smashing. So smashing. Sharon, we did lots of shots. We did. We had a lot of tequila. Sure. Now it all comes out. We hey? did. We had a lot wow. of tequila, and I blame Gabby. <laughs> There's always someone's always got a lot of fire. Gabby, so. Gabby was the reason. Hello, Christina Marcus, my beautiful well done, Christina. Gabby. I can't wait to give Christina a hug. That is someone that I'm really looking forward to giving a hug one day. A uh, lot of names. I mean, uh, most of these names have been here short sure, since the beginning. We've all been cooking along with us. We haven't had the pleasure of meeting many of you in, in person, but uh, hopefully over the next little while we'll change. Say hi, everyone. Say hello. Yeah. What's my say? What, what is your name? Izzy. Izzy. Say it again, louder. Izzy. Has everyone met with them? Yeah. Oh, okay. They they're regulars in this slot. They quite enjoy being with the camera. <laughs> she is literally the cutest child you'll ever meet. <laughs> oh my word! She is literally someone. And also, by the by, uh, I think I told you guys last week that I've already organised an arranged marriage between Adrian's yeah. son and my child. Done. If it's not Hunter, it's definitely going to be heavy. Free arranged, <laughs> it's all organised. 100%. Yeah. Um, you'll have to pay the ball over. Oh gosh. It'll be the other way around this time. Oh no, um, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> How to play in the bullet? This is true though, because I really want to sound quite proud of me in a big way. Yeah. Um, Cindy, you do need to visit us, and we need to Cindy, visit Jeff. Cindy, you do. Cindy you guys have enough to do. Cindy hasn't been here. So I'm just going to throw this out there. We are having a Cape Town family day on the 28th. Yes. The 28th. Sharon, Cindy, Goods, Christina. It's an excuse. Please come, please come. Come and like make a nice big weekend out of it. Come and see all the chums in Cape Town. Get to know, get to see the a different type of vibe. It's the best time of year as well. It's really, really fun. Lekker in the cop. Lekker in the cop. Come Road on, trip. guys. Yes. You can get really good prices of flats on Saturday at the moment. We got good flats. On, we got yep. prices. Of flats. And if you are a diamond member, which are of Discovery, which I hope many of you are, and you, you should be, especially if you've been working out so much, you can get super cheap flats. If you are a Discovery bank, this is the this is the thing with Discovery. So I'm a diamond, and if you pay with a diamond, if you pay with the Discovery credit card. You get an additional 13%. So you actually get like 49% of the plots. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah. it's worth just getting it. Okay, so Lo is with us. Bonjour, madame. How are you, darling? Hi, She's you. just moved to France. Oh. Oh, Chesa. All the way from France. All the way from France. Lovely to the, Chesa keeps in touch with us um, through Jeff. She keeps in touch with all of us through Jeff. Um, she, she, how long ago did you emigrate? She emigrated about, it feels like a month ago. But it could have been six weeks to eight weeks ago, but it feels like about a month. There we go. Sadine, also a diamond. So if you are a diamond, you get like 35% of your funds. If you pay with a credit card, you get an additional 13% or something like that. So you have to wear the credit Make card. it work for you. Do it. you got to learn all the tips and tricks through discovery. You need to know how things work there. I promise you. Hello, Isabel. Uh, Chesa says just over a month. It, there we go, just over a month. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Isabel, hi. Um, Sharon, we love you, Gabs. <laughs> really got the vibe going. I'm sure it didn't need much. She though. really did. She really did. We had such a good time. The Tinder we, was ready for the striking there, so I'm sure uh, just, uh, it was easy to play that vibe. We had an amazing group of people. Uh, the, 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 the Joburg Jeppers are a, a different bunch. They're a special bunch of human beings. They really, really are. They really are. Um, Lee, good evening, you ripper. Hello, Lee, my girl. How's it going? He's from Newcastle, isn't he? He's in Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. Lee, my girl's in Newcastle. Uh, Auntie Pat. Auntie Pat is with us. Hello, darling, Auntie Pat. Okay. Auntie Pat, you also need to get on um, an airplane and come to Cape Town and come see us. We're waiting for you. Yeah. Um, it does sound like it might be easier for us to go uh, 
Well, there that. instead. No, but don't you want a little bit? We need, like we need to go little, visit. A visit. Fancy? I'm going to be in Peter Maritzburg in the same time. So oh, you're ready? Really? I haven't been to Natal in almost two years. So it'd be nice to go. Yeah, you said back. you haven't been there in so long. Mm. You really yeah, need awesome. to meet some of these, these, these Jeffers and David. They are, they are a special bunch of humans as well. Cindy, you've never been Cindy. It's amazing how you get to know everyone through just doing this though. Isn't it amazing? Taryn Swales. No. Taryn and I were at, we were, we, Taryn, you and I are possibly like the oldest friends. We've been at school together since we were Izzy's age. Yeah, maybe. Izzy's age. That's how long Taryn and I have known each other. I'm sure there are a lot of stories there that she's uh, covering up for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Taryn. Um, all right, quick, uh, let's uh, quickly chat about what we're cooking tonight. We mentioned the name of it. Um, yeah, when are we going to go visit the Geordies, Lee? Um, John, is John is still going to the UK? No. No. He's going next year, and I am making sure that I go with him, Lee. I'm ready. He was meant to go now in November, and I was like, it's not great. It's not no. great because I've got to stay here. But uh, if he goes next year, then I'm going to make sure that I go. As so well. you go. The team, the team Lots will of love to you, Taryn. A beautiful Taryn. Beautiful. Um, all right. Before we uh, just carry Taren on chatting, really not good. stuff. He's, she's really good in the kitchen. Taryn is amazing. We should get Taryn in for a bit. We really need to. Maybe you and Taryn can. Uh... But Taryn's in Durban. Oh, we've got there. Well, there we go, Taryn, yeah. and your kitchen doll. Yeah. We come Love with it. you. There's, there's quite a strong um, Durban contingent mm -hmm. um, that does the cook with us, actually. Yeah, well, I don't know where Caitlin is, but she should be. Yeah, there. I'm disappointed. Yeah, Caitlin. I'm Caitlin. Not on. Not on. If you are there, say hi. Because we don't think that you are. <laughs> um, all right, so guys, uh, preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Um, boil your kettle. And the first thing we're going to do is just cook some bulgur wheat. Jules was lost. I did worry. not even know what bulgur wheat was. What is bulgur wheat? Is this like quinoa? Um, is it like a mix between quinoa and and uh, couscous? Yeah, so it's it's obviously it's wheat. Yeah. Like the name said. So it's closer to couscous than yeah. it is to quinoa. Okay, yeah, it actually um, looks more like It's not as refined as couscous. You cook them the same way, so you just pour some boiling water on it. Okay. Um, but you just let it sit around in the pot for about twice as long. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm just reading here. Got my two phones on, one on cook and the other on who egg. Uh, <laughs> Word. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit more interesting. That's Charlene, hilarious. how's it going? Nikki, how is it? Hello, Loma. Hello, gorgeous Charlene. Hello, my beautiful. Hello, Nikki. Yeah. Okay, so I'll say my prayers before I walk into this kitchen. Okay, okay, so there it is. Jules is going to do a little more today than last time. Last time. I thought I was doing that No, last you time. didn't. Am I meant to be doing something like this? Okay. So. Your bulgur wheat just goes into a bowl. A pretty bowl. That can hopefully handle heat to us. It's going right. to crack everywhere. Um, 200 mils of water. It's just boiled. Okay. So it's almost. Is that 250? Oh, okay, right, yeah. Not fill it. Okay. okay. Don't disturb it. Yes, with a with fork, please. Hey, my can you come here? Come here, cutie pie. Um, and then just the drizzle of oil. Sort of a teaspoon of oil will go in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. And lid on, uh, plate on. Seriously, that's how you that's do it. it. And you stick it aside? Who would have thought? No way, really? Yeah, stick it away just so it keeps it in there. Yeah. Wow, and just leave that for the next 15 minutes. Over there. Yeah. So it's right over there, everyone. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Should okay. Easy, yeah? So you actually can do this like that because you normally you'd boil it in a pot and then turn it off and put the lid on like a rice. Right. Yeah. This way it's just you don't have to. So it's gonna cook nice and softly and slowly. Same okay. sort of way that you do couscous. Yeah. So you can just do it and then you go. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Now, um Jules, your favorite tool in our kitchen. Yes, this is an amazing tool. Okay, we're gonna use it twice even tonight. Oh! So our little microplaner that Jules loves so much. We're going to get all the zest of that. Is that moment. what it's called? Yeah. A microplaner. Have a look at this guy. Can you see that guy? Look at that. That's go. what it looks like. 
fancy. Okay. So, so lemon, side? do the lemon on the bigger side and then we'll do the, we're going to do garlic on the smaller. Just make sure you don't get a knuckle in there because it No, hurts. that would happen to me. Do it. Um, so just the, let me show the lemons everybody quickly. So when you're zesting it, um, give it one scrape on each side because this white stuff here is, not... is the bitter stuff. So you just want, oh, you want, just just the, want the outside. Okay, so, so we'll keep... Oh, keep so that for the side. Oh, so basically he's told me I didn't do a good job. <laughs> Luckily, you only need a little bit. That's where all the flavor is. So if you're looking for a lemon flavor, that's zest. Um, so it's literally just the top part it's of the skin. Just, you're just taking off the color. That's all you want because that's where all the flavor is. So you don't get the acid with it, um, which we're going to use elsewhere when we want our lemon juice. So if you don't want that acidic taste, if you want the flavor, you just... That's superb juice. Is that all right? Yeah. Is that enough? No. Okay. We'll keep going there. Um, <laughs> so we're going to keep doing that. Um, and I'm going to catch up on the comments and questions here as we go. Um, uh, Michelle, it's load shedding. It's oh, back, guys. It's back. Mish, I need it. I need it, my bad. In fact. Lisa Marie, hello, hello. In fact, I've got some. Got some? Load shedding. No. Uh, what? Come on. Uh, where was wine on this? Michelle. Where? Oh, where's your wine, Jules? Guys, uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, Jules in the kitchen only happens, I only get her in here by saying there will be wine. And um, that's, that's why she came. Basically. Cal, <laughs> hello. Um, Chessa says, Jules, you are superwoman. Challenges, makeup, Jeff TV, cooking, all in one. Oh. We're like trying to so. break her, um, so Jules is going to get a well-earned holiday. I can't wait. I can't wait for my holiday. I can't wait for my holiday! Jules, I love you. Nicole is here. And, you know, there's a lot enough. of these women that know me well as well. There's a lot of these women that know me well, and they are my my absolute, like, they're super women themselves, so I love you Just all. Just a team of super women. Oh, that must be enough. That looks good. Huh? Fantastic. Lisa Marie says your hair looks fabulous. Me, mine or yours? Definitely your mine. <laughs> Nicole is here saying, Jules, you're doing good, sweetie. <laughs> keep her going. There we go. All right, so we're going to keep that to the side. Okay. And okay. that's. Is this the paper bag thing that you've got? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what we're going to do. Okay. Um, if you're using, so you can use tin foil or you can use parchment paper here. If it's tin foil, just get make it into a square so it's kind of big enough to fold over. Um, Jules is running out of wine, so she's going to get. So, if you're doing parchment this is, paper, this is for Michelle Rogers. Cheers, Michelle. Big sip. Cheers, everybody. And um, fold your a nice big piece of parchment and chaser, paper. And it's for chaser, so. In half. Um, and then I'm going to do one and you're going to do one. So this is, is this wax paper? No, this is parchment but, paper. So wax paper, happen? it's not wax. Do I feel that? Yeah, but where do you get this from? Uh, grease proof paper. Okay, grease proof paper. So wax paper will burn if it goes in the oven. The waxy stuff isn't, yeah. doesn't handle high temperatures. So you just want um, parchment. Or grease proof paper, grease same proof. thing. Um, and if you don't have tin foil, tin foil might just give a bit of a flavor, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Oh, so you could do tin foil. Okay. 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 And you do it the inside out. The yeah, out that's middle. actually a bit of a myth as well. I always used to believe that. And oh, Gria, yeah. Gria and I always used to fight which side goes on the inside, but uh, apparently it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So, there we go. so and now I'm getting death stares from Gria. Yeah. She always lost. <laughs> okay, scissors, tin foil, you don't need this, you're just going to fold it from here. We're going to cut it so it kind of resembles a heart. You start down in the bottom where the fold is. Okay. Yeah. Let's maybe get this overhead camera and I can show you nicely. Bring it up. There we go. Okay, so here's the fold where the scissors are. We're just going to cut. Like a bit of a, a bit of a heart. A heart. It's not going to look exactly like a heart because 
Cheers, I don't trust, Sharon. I don't trust my skills to do that. It just needs to be big enough for whatever's going to go inside there. So we're going to do that. Boom. Okay. Okay. And then. Can I do the same thing? There we go. Can I do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Maybe more a cut than a heart. Easy. Done. Pretty. Okay. So we're going to put that there while Jules does the other. Right. No. Oh, that is... Good. Wow. Okay, while Jules does that, I'm just going to slice the things that are going to go on top of our fish, which is... There you go. Jules? Perfect. It looks like a manta ray. It does. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So in our little parchment sacks, we'll go our fish. So move this over so that you can see some. We can do. Let's move our ingredients Sorry. display out the way. Oh, it's the display. So it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to have a couple lemon slices and we're going to have a couple tomato slices. So one tomato we're going to slice and the other one we're going to use later. Right, so you only need four slices of lemons and four slices of tomatoes. Okay, that's, so that's going to go on the fish in a minute. Oh, okay. And then four it lemons, gets... Four tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. It gets a lovely little dressing of all these goodies. We've got our... So the four lemons. Nomu one for all rub. Okay, the, these famous Nomu rubs. They've been yes. quite nice in all these, you cook uh, the stocks and the rubs and yeah, everything. Yeah. Got a lovely little bit of thyme that you can see there. And two cloves of garlic. Right, so some more grating. Jules, let's kill this for you and then we're going to grate the garlic. Oh, this is, okay. We should have put it in a bucket use... and we needed to shake it, remember? Um, one of Jules' favourite things that we've learned over the last few weeks. Is that you can put garlic into a glass and shake it and the peel comes off that's amazing so you put a little console jar and you shake 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 shake, shake. like this one. and everything yeah. yeah can everyone see what i'm doing here do you want to film it i'll do that here yeah, just to show everyone what i'm doing because i am going to look a bit ridiculous while i do this yeah. okay so we're making a little oil that's got some garlic it's got some thyme it's got some uh lemon juice oh that's nice um and that little rub. Oh, I love a bit of garlic. Who else loves garlic? Garlic, garlic, garlic. Who loves roast garlic? You know when Ooh. you know when it's Christmas time yes. and you put it into oh into you know I, you know I don't eat lamb, but the one thing that I really really love is I pick the garlic cloves out the lamb. It's the only thing I'll eat out the lamb is that is the garlic clove, and it's just like a bowl full of garlic. It's yeah. the best. Who else loves that? <laughs> Me too, Sandine. And Gabby. Just some whole oh, roasted garlic go. cloves. All oh, those roasted garlic cloves are the best. They are the best. The no new thing is the all for one rub, Sharon. Um, so one of the sort of blended rubs. And um, where's our little pack? Good. What's that? There we go. Must I do another garlic clove? Yeah. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Lots of garlic. Woo! Lucky no one's coming near me tomorrow because I'm right. Christina's mom is watching and says, uh, Jules, you've got this. My mom is watching. <laughs> Christina! I'd love to meet your mom. Is she as cool as you? That's what I want to know. Michelle, roast chicken and roast garlic. Woo! Sunday flavors right there. Oh, absolutely. That's one thing we haven't done is done like a big Sunday. Sunday roast. A Sunday roast. Oh. Gabby, garlic. Oh, Gabby, stop talking dirty, my babes. That is my game. Garlic and chili. Uh, do you know that I even add chili to my scrambled eggs? Who adds chili to their scrambled eggs? Bring on chili and garlic. Chili makes a lot better. Hey? Chili does. You should, probably should have some chili. What? Who else thinks Adrian needs some chili because it might clear his sinuses? <laughs> 
We've got some lemon, maybe some ginger and some chili and I'll be sorted. That's exactly what you need. You're going to be right as ring. Michelle says that's why she's single, because she has garlic <laughs> salt. <laughs> you just haven't oh found like, the right uh, garlic funny. match for you, Michelle, that's all. Um, you, what, is it, what do they say that you're supposed to eat if you are, um, if you've eaten chili? Uh, parsley. Garlic. Do you know that I used no, to walk... Garlic. garlic. Garlic, sorry, yeah. garlic. I used to walk around with the, with the, who else has walked around with those parsley capsules in their bag? I used to have so much, much garlic in my food, it was embarrassing. And I used to call on doctors because I was a medical rep. And I used to carry around those par, those parsley capsules because I used to stink all the time because of garlic. So, funny enough, I don't eat as much garlic as I used to, but now I think I'm done. So. We used to eat a lot. So, a little Everyone needs oil. Wasabi. Wasabi. Yeah. Uh, um, do you want to stick your grated garlic into there? Okay. So in here we've got our um, tablespoon of the rub, the all-in-one rub. We're going to squeeze the juice of these lemons, lemons into there. Christina, tell your mom I want to meet her. I want to meet you both. I feel like I know everyone though. That's the thing. I like that idea, Michelle. Roast lunch, live cook with a table of legends. I love, love this idea. Jeff roast. Love that. The Jeff roast. And maybe we could all roast each other as yeah, well. It's, oh. a, it's a thing when it comes to our no, that's all a, stories. Will that's come a up. really good idea. As long as Louis is there. Um, oh, we need Louis he's, there he's as well. We need Louis there. Okay, so we've got uh, two lemon wedges juice, we've got uh, two garlic cloves grated, we've got a tablespoon of the all-in-one rub, and uh, we're going to have two teaspoons of olive oil. This is fancy. <laughs> Michelle says, oh my gosh, that could get dangerous. <laughs> it totally will, Mish. Couldn't find any no spice. Any other suggestions? What does that spice smell like? Um, I tried to smell it, but I couldn't smell what was in it. Um, but it's going to be... Did you do that one as well? Yeah, I'll just do it all. There's going to be some coriander and cumin um, in there. Um, there's a bit of dried um, rosemary by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like rosemary in there. Um, I don't know what else was in there. It smelled yeah. like maybe a little bit of paprika. But any kind of blend of spices that if you've got, uh, I could smell one thing. That is nonsense. Um, that is nonsense. Coriander, Did you cumin, just that rosemary. Says it smells like a little bit of paprika. I'm like, you can't smell right now. I can. Can you? Oh, I can smell that. Yeah. Wow. What is that? What is that? Okay, wait, hang on. This is a trick. Hang on, hang on. This is a trick question. Not a trick question. <laughs> Rosemary, no, this is, it doesn't look like rosemary. Yeah. Guys, help it out. What is uh, what is Jules smelling? What is this little? It's on the recipe, so if you're cooking it with us, it's like a blobberkey. Come on, Jules. Should I stir? Should I? Should I um, stir? Yes, with that. Oh, that's what it smells going. really nice. Yeah. Look, this at grows that, beautifully guys. in your garden. Very easy herb to go. Wow. Are we going to put the, the fish into this? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you need more. Everyone's yeah. giving you the answer there exactly. Oh, time, you time, 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 time. Okay. So. Wow, that looks amazing. I would just eat it like that. I love a sauce. It does look pretty good. Sure, that looks amazing. Wow. Right, then we're going to get our fish out. Let's... Uh, Sure. Just want to hold on to that for a second. Right. Could you do this? With, you could do this with any fish. Any fish would work. So, um, just a nice white fillet of some hake or basil or something would work. Um, you could do it with salmon. We obviously I want trout. to remember this because that looks amazing. Yeah, nice flavor. Yeah, that looks really, really good. That was really, really nice. That's a lot of garlic. Okay, do you want to Garlic the time, fish on lemon there. juice. We're just going to pat our yeah. fish dry. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Okay. I cannot just close this. Yeah. Okay. Just draw the edges. Okay, then we're gonna get our parchment out. If you're using um, your tin foil, just stick it in the middle of the tin foil that you can fold it over and it's all gonna kind of fold up and be alright. Your kids are just the best. We've got our sauce. And that's just going to go over there. Your kids are just adorable. Seriously. They're, they're, playing, home they're playing funny baggers. No? Adrian's <laughs> kids are coming home with me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's put two slices of lemon. <laughs> oh, good idea. Come. Come. Two slices of tomato like that. So everything's on there. That looks like a caprese oh, that's, salad. That's, that's what it looks like. Right. We're going to fold that over, okay? And then we're just going to fold these edges up. So if you can watch here, I'm just folding bit by bit so that it kind of starts going around and around and around. If you've got tin foil, ah. you just pinch it shut and it'll do its thing. Wow. So you get a slightly better um, seal on some tin foil. So you don't have to do it as finicky as this. Just keep folding, keep folding, keep folding. And when you get to the edge, the end here, you're just going to make it a little tail. Wow. So it looks like a bit of a Cornish pasty kind of looking thing. And that's, that's our on papillot. That's amazing. Good night, guys. Good night, Daddy. Good night, kiss. And then we're going to do our other one. <laughs> They're trying to organize a sleepover here. Yes, okay. of course, anytime. So all that beautiful anytime. flavor in there. Oh my yeah. gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, that lemon. looks amazing. And, uh, tomato. I'm just going to pop them out. Wow. Yeah, this flavors are nice and thick as well. This yeah. smells, guys. This, this is like ridiculous. You can smell that garlic. Even through um, a block nose, even you can smell that garlic. You can smell that garlic. It is unbelievable. Wow, wow, that smells amazing. Okay, so once you've got this technique as well, guys, you can do it at home. Do some, do some chicken. Do some veg. And it's just oh, your you own way to steam it in the pot. Yeah. Nice chicken breast that will cook That's beautifully. That's a very good idea. Um, and it goes into the oven um, for about 10 minutes. Okay. What a fancy oven. Oh my word. The oven is very fancy. Very fancy fancy. Very fancy. Okay. So. Now we're just going to do a little bit of prep for the stuff that's going to go into our bulgur wheat to make it a nice, get some flavor in there. Okay. Uh, we're going to dice up some tomato. Uh, we're going to halve our um, olives. olives. Um, we're just going to rinse our baby spinach. Um, and then half of the pesto is going to go into the bulgur wheat. Another half we're just going to use at the end to okay. finish the dish. All right. So, Let's um, make a little bit of space here. So what, what is that for then? For the end. That's oh. going to go on as the kind of... I'm surprised. I always thought that would have gone on the fish. It's already got the lemon halves on it, so we don't... Oh, of course. So right. we just want that for a little zing of flavor. A little zing. Yeah. A little zing. So, Jules, would you like to sure. dice our tomato? Or would you like to halve our... I'll halve um, the, the... Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, let me... Let me yeah. Halve the olives. Let me get to a... Okay, so the olives are just going to get halved there by Jules next to us. And uh, I'll show you guys. Just so they're pitted. Or pitted. Yeah. I spent a week pitting cherries. Yeah. We've got some nice cherry recipes coming out. It's cherry season it at the moment. It is cherry season. It is indeed. It only lasts for... There are a lot like of cherries at the office. 
yes, as you send a man, I need to get pitched in. Oh shit, but look what I've done. That's right. Okay. Okay, so we've got our tomato, and uh, we just want it nice and sort of finely diced. Um, so we're just going to cut a it into is... little squares. Okay. So I'm just cutting it into slices first. Okay. You can cut it however you want to, it's just got to, how you want to eat it when it's in your yogurt. Ah, oh, okay. see. Mushy, I love cherries as well, love yeah. them. Yeah, our office, we've got a couple of cherries at the office, so my goodness. So I was doing a, uh, well, I won't give away the recipe just yet. It's a special. Oh, I saw you posting something like that today, didn't you? Yeah. Ooh. Doing a little bit of baking. So oh. it's actually our, our Jeff cook next week is a cherry one. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then uh, the week after that is back with me and another cherry. But it's actually, it's a pudding Jeff cook. So That's nice and time for, um, for, Christmas. for Christmas. Yeah. So you can cook any dinner you want. And then you can just tune in to make the pudding that goes with it. It's quite a nice, balanced, not so guilty. This is a problem. I don't know how you don't eat while you go along, because I just want to stop chowing. I love to eat while I eat. Not that I cook much, but let's be honest. But I'll be like, mm, that tastes nice. Mm, that's nice. Mm, that's nice. Half of the recipe, all gone. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. You've got to taste your food. You said that. Yeah. It's actually the, the most... I'm going to do all of it, hey? Yeah, I'll do them all. One of the important ways to kind of develop your palate, like learn flavours and learn and um, tastes and different balance and things, is to taste lots yeah. of different things. Um, and it helps your wine tasting as well. Too. You appreciate yeah. your wine more. You see. When you can go, ooh, this smells like olives. There you go. Then you don't, or if you don't, then you need, you know, you need to drink more wine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So, bye, Chisa. And Elise, Sharon, you are such an inspiration. Uh, and Michelle says a glass of wine and cherry pie sounds like heaven. Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Here you go. Look at that. <gasps> no way. You can see our uh, Belgoite is That's amazing. nice and it should be dry. All the water has been absorbed into it. Mm. Okay. Let's give it a... Cool. Are you supposed to put this tap? And uh, no, the top. Oh, yeah. Top yeah, here we go. Fancy. So, um, I might not have given us enough space in that bowl. So, in there, nice mixing bowl, all of our burger meats. Okay. Do you want to pop your olives into there? All of them. Put them in. Well, I don't think I cut that one. So you can eat that one then. I'll eat it. The baker's dozen in Jules's house. The what? Baker's dozen. Not a baker's dozen. No idea. Who knows what a baker's dozen is? There we go. Someone will, someone will tell us. What, what is a baker's dozen? Chess is on her. Annalise, uh, chatting to Sharon. Um, this recipe, I can't substitute with chicken. Looks amazing. Uh, you can, if you need to, Christina. Might not quite yes. understand what you're asking, but you can. Um, yes, she, yes, she can substitute. Yeah. She's got a big accent, Christina. Between the shake up, your makeup, fish dish, your fab, says Annalise. Beautiful. Michelle says the recipe is yummy. Um, Someone else has said that, that wine is evaporating. It is. <laughs> Um, so we've got our uh, bulgur wheat, we've got our olives, we've got our chopped tomatoes. It's very Mediterranean. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I love Mediterranean food. And then... Michelle says, no idea. Sounds like the baker's minute. 
So <laughs> Baker's dozen, so dozen's obviously 12, but Baker's always used to make 13 because the 13 one, 13 one was for them to taste. So oh. ah, there we go, Mish. Now we both learned. The 13th one is for the baker. So what's juice. the baker dozen? There we go, just said it. Uh, Lisa, oh, that's what you called it. It's, it is a baker dozen. Baker's dozen. A baker's dozen is 13 then. Okay. My mom always told me to whistle while I cook so I don't nibble in between. <laughs> Lisa! Lisa, yes. our nickname, Lisa, Lisa we call Abs. She's abs. got, she's, she's, her nickname is Abs. She's got abs for days. Okay, and half of our basil pesto is going to go in here. Wow. Okay, the other half we'll keep for <laughs> later. So that spinach, um, we just want to stir through. It's just going to wilt from a little bit of the heat that's still in there, but it's going to be quite a nice, fresh. Oh my gosh, just smell beans. that. That is, that is heaven. Who loves a basil pesto? If you don't like a basil pesto, we can't be friends. Because that's just ridiculous. It's amazing. It's a great thing to kind the of meal prep this one as well. Do you remember all those ads? Do you remember that yeah. ad? The baker's man can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michelle says, right, got it. I'll bake extra cupcakes next time. <laughs> that's really nice. There we go. That looks amazing. So wow. That's all done. It looks beautiful. That Loads is of color. Beautiful. It smells great. Um, it's going to need some seasoning because we didn't. You know what? I would, I would just throw that in there. I know it myself. The what? Nah, for me, I would just throw that in there because it's just it's amazing. But wow. it's going to, that's going to taste, taste that though. It's going to be quite a strong sort of raw I'll, flavor. I'll, so. I'll taste it now. Yeah. Because you know that I'm going to frighten my husband when I get home because it's full of garlic. Garlic. So it'll cook nicely, but you might not want to. Love the garlic, eh? There we go. Right, so that's done. All we're waiting for is our fish. It's going to come out the oven. We're going to have our fish with wow. that drizzle over a little bit of extra pesto. That's amazing. Um, and our lemon zest and. So beautiful and fresh. Yeah. Hey? And this this is a nice sort of bulk thing because you might not get through all that. And, and you can cool. eat it tomorrow. And, and your lunch tomorrow. Well. Yeah, yeah. Have that with uh, tuna tuna or egg yes, or something like yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jono and I eat very similarly to this. Obviously, I don't do it for But this is like amazing. This is a really, really nice thing to I'm remember. But that's great because you can do that any night and then yeah. just change your protein that you're going to cook with. Yeah. You can have some chicken, some steaks and whatever. This. You know, and play around with it. So. Guys, this. I don't know how many of I you are cooking with us, but oh my gosh. Smells good. It really doesn't smell yeah. good. That's all I want to know. It's getting through. It's getting through. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa Marie, basil pesto is a standard in your fridge. Um, it really is. Hopefully some of you guys have had a crack at making your own as well. Um, if this you've is, invested and in so some... it's so easy to do. Yeah, you just got to take out a small loan to get some pine nuts, but you don't have to use pine nuts. And you can just use pepper. Gosh, uh, pine nuts. Why are pine nuts so expensive? And there's nothing worse when you put them in the oven to roast and then, you and then, you, and then you kill them. That's oh an expensive God. mistake. That's such an expensive yeah. mistake. Because they really are so expensive. Oh my goodness. Pine nuts. They're amazing, yeah. but they're so expensive. So, for the sake of... I use macadamias. Macadamias are nice. Hello, nice Lorraine. I met Lorraine here. Handel. I met Lorraine Handel. Beautiful. Yeah, I did. She has purple hair at the moment. Looking beautiful. <laughs> it does. I promise you, Gabs, this it looks so fresh. So fresh. Okay. Are you going to be For your next dinner party as well, why this kind of method so nice is because you can actually serve it at the table. And everyone just like rips their own one open and the, the yeah. steam comes out and it's quite a little showstopper. Yeah, it's okay. really beautiful. So let's just get a little bit of that on the plate. Very nice. Okay. It's a very fancy oven. Very fancy. That's fancy. Very fancy oven. And oh, and look at that. So that arrives on everyone's plate, and then they rip it open, and it's like surprise. I think I just 
That's very, very special. Get. Wow. Let's go ahead. Okay. Oh. And the steam comes out. Your fish should be that looks nice amazing. And flaky. It's flaky. Wow. Right. Oh, I was going to leave it in for a minute, but I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, that perfect. looks incredible. So, um, lovely. That little, looks amazing. See the smoke, you guys might be Beautiful. missing it. Beautiful. Smells great. Can you smell it? That's what I want to know. You need smell a vision. Oh. Give it a little bit of wow, that is, that, is, that is unbelievable. And the camera doesn't even do it justice. That's what's so sad. Is oh my gosh, but like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. You're done. That is a piece of heaven. That does that needs to be in a restaurant. That is so beautiful. There's probably is somewhere. Wow. <laughs> They'll be in Jules's. They'll be in the Jeff restaurant. We're gonna have a Jeff Cafe. It's gorgeous. Um, and that will be on the menu. It will be Jules Mediterranean Trout. Jules on Mediterranean Trout. It's <laughs> really beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. That looks just... Monty Bird says, well, Adrian, you are so talented. Thank you. <laughs> and if there is a knock on the door, there's some for you, said Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, that is too funny. That is really special, that. I can't believe it. It's a parcel of food. It's a parcel of love. It really is beautiful. So easy. Um, do it at your next dinner party. That is something I'm going to love. It. I love this. I love because you, you actually can't even see the olives in here. That is really, really beautiful. It's stunning. Every mouthful, you're going to get a different flavor. Yeah. So you go on, it can be great. Loads of flavor and in maybe here. Maybe a little glass of white wine to wash it I think so. A little bit of shard. A little shard. A little bit of chardonnay. Who um, loves a little bit of chardonnay? Lisa drew. A wooded chardonnay. Uh, Jeff Cafe. Jeff Cafe. Be um, we should, uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> so, I, I love, what do they say? Jeff Roast. I love that. And Jeff Roast and Jeff Cafe. Like this, all this stuff is like, yeah. Cheers Man. to you as well, Michelle Gugu. Beautiful. Um, Nikki Michelle will come to and Sadeen and Googs and Gabby and Sharon. Who else is with yeah. me? So anyone who's got a glass of wine in their hand, cheers, Lisa. Jules. And enjoy, um, enjoy your evening's meal. If you've cooked along with us, stick it up and um, post it. We want to see what it looks like um, and let us know how it tastes. Hopefully it's been epic. Um, or if you're going to do it over the weekend or it's amazing. at some point, let us know. It's but always we, fun we, to but see. we're doing it now. We are. So we're going to tuck in yes. because I'm hungry now. So delicious. I can smell it even through the blocked nose. Wow. It's this garlic and the lemon and the, right. and the pesto it's stuff and the thyme. Wow. All so I much smell, going on. All I can smell is this flavor. Wow. Super. Guys, yeah. thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Jules, thanks again for uh, oh, being with us. Love it. Love it. I'm really We've got uh, a little bit more filming to do tomorrow. We're going to have our last We do. Our We're doing our last filming on our challenge. It's going to be fun. The last one. Woo! Guys, have a fabulous that. evening, Jules. Have, have a, a lovely, well. lovely evening, guys. Thanks so much for, for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Cheers. Bye.